Hi everyone, it's Madi Soul, and yesterday I was uh, at the Capitol wanting to give you all an update of what's happening at the legislature, and I promised that I would come back today and give an update. So here we are, an update for Friday. Um, so we are still in the midst of budget discussions. Uh, the governor yesterday uh, decided to call a special session that should be happening next week. Mainly the special session is to deal with issues uh, confronting our state regarding the wildfires and potential floods that could come after those fires. So um, we don't know what kind of budget discussions will actually happen next week. Our hope was to have a press conference on Monday and actually lay out what educators across the state would like to see in this budget with a potential 1.5 and $1.9 billion that we could be investing in our schools. However, because we don't think there'll be budget discussions openly, there might be behind closed doors, we are gonna take a kind of timeout or pause on that. I mean, additionally, next week, it's supposed to be 117 for most of the week, um, and we definitely do not wanna put people in harm's way. Our thought is, is to spend this week, particularly, I'm sorry, next week, is making sure every member who received an email from Joe Thomas, um, as well as follow-up emails from him, to make sure that uh, you fill out the survey. Right now we have over a thousand people that have filled out the survey. We would love to have 10,000 um, people fill out this survey, which clearly asks you, where should we be investing this money? So we get at, at the press conference that we are planning, we wanna lay those out. We have some of our really great members who have been fighting and, and our union leaders in their own right and they're on a state level as well as a local level who are gonna share with you what, how they believe that a fully funded school system plus this one, you know, additionally with this 1.9 billion that's out there could look in our schools for our communities to make them strong. So we're gonna ask you to fill out that survey. We're gonna ask you to hold tight so that when we say, hey, it's press time, conference time, we need you to head down to the Capitol, that you come uh, down. The house was open yesterday. We were able to watch um, their, their business so we can go inside. We have extra rooms set up, so we'll be able to be inside. And so I wanted to give you that update and I want you to stay kind of stay, keep this station open to some extent. Look for your emails. AEA has been sending out emails. Have discussions with your colleagues. Quite frankly, this is going to be a really extremely hot weekend and I'm hoping that everyone spends some time drinking lots of water, relaxing with their families, hopefully finding some time to find some downtime where you can actually unplug because it's been a tough year and a half. The last thing I wanted to mention is AEA is hosting its annual Summer Institute in which we are going to be providing professional development, union professional development about organizing at a local level, about working with school board members, about bargaining, about everything from um, social media and how to support our colleagues and how to interact with social media. Um, how to do one-on-ones, how to have crucial union conversation with your community and colleagues. That's happening next Thursday and Friday, and it's free. And it's just in the morning from 9 to 12. We're going to have some amazing special guests. NEA President Becky Pringle will be with us. Also, NEA Executive Director Kim Anderson are going to be with us to kind of share with us what's happening on a national level and really give us some advice on how we can be collectively bargaining across state lines or learn from what's happening in other states. So those are my two updates. Look in the comments in a little bit and I'll make sure to put in the events in the comments as well as the Summer Institute because it's free to any union member um, and we would love for you to join us because these are gonna be nice and sweet and to the point and um, hopefully one of our last times that we'll be doing everything virtual and soon we'll be able to be with each other. So on that note, I will leave you. Have an amazing Friday evening. Hopefully you have something cold in your hand and are enjoying this evening and we will continue to give you updates. Um, as soon as we get them. Thanks everyone, have a great weekend.